Pizza Fellas Podcast right here. The hottest in the world. It's a Pizza Fellas Podcast. Turn your speakers up, we better have a blast. Grab a drink, fill a glass. Light a cigar, come on, let's make it last. Pizza Talk with Sal and Joe. Oliver Antonio. Pizza stories, they gonna tell us. Let's have some fun with the pizza fellas. Pizza fellas podcast right here. The hottest in the world. Hello, everyone. Engineer. Engineer. We're back. (coughs) Pizza fellas podcast episode eight. Pizza fellas podcast episode episode eight. Remember, follow us on Linktree. We have our YouTube page (coughs) now. We got Spotify. We're on Facebook, X, formerly known as Twitter. We have our TikTok. And follow those reels. Follow those short videos we've been putting up. They're great. They're fantastic. Uh, We got the sponsors by Enter.net. Justin Corso, my dude, right over there. I'm Sal. You know Antonio. Joe Ruffino, Biagio Pizzeria. Big Sexy. Giovanni Canigliaro, Giovanni's Roarsford. Oliver Nasser, and how do we find a hat big enough to fit Antonio? That's Fuck what I want to know. you. <laughs> That's why he got the adjustable. I got All right, the guys. Adjustable. So to start it off today, we got a special guest here. Uh, we're going to go right into it. We're going to meet him, talk about his career, and I'm going to move that on to Antonio. So it's Giovanni Conigliaro, uh, Giovanni's Pizza in Royersford, 466 Main Street, 610-948-3693, pizzageo.net. Family's been in the business over 35 years, but this specific pizzeria has been in existence since 2003. And welcome, Giovanni. Welcome, yeah, Giovanni. Welcome. Yeah. Thanks for taking the ride up. Yeah. Thanks there for taking go. the ride. Thank, Thank you, you for coming. What, about an hour ride, no? Uh, about an hour, yeah. Yeah, well, thanks for coming. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for coming. Absolutely. And real quick, not to interrupt, forgot to say it in the beginning. Uh, first segment, guys, we're going to meet Giov- uh, John from Giovanni's. Then we are also, second segment, we're going to talk about the One Bite Festival. Okay, our all the guys were there last Saturday. It was a rain out, but hey, they still did the festival. They fucking rock about it was yeah, awesome. That was a good time. And then the third segment, we're gonna bring on a new sponsor that's gonna sponsor us for the next couple months. Uh, he's a close friend of mine for years, and we'll have him on, and we'll talk about some other stuff going on in the world then. But let's get into it. So you said how many years now this shop? Um, the family's been in the business for over thirty five years, but this shop in particular has been there since two thousand and three. And I'll tell you what, I was looking at his menu. And, uh, I mean, he's hitting it on the head here. I mean. Yeah, nice menu. A very nice menu. Nice Great price. Out too. They do I like the job for you. And he's doing a lot. I mean, he bought pizza with him tonight, so we're going to try that out as well. But, I mean, he's got Detroit's. He's got Brooklyn Squares, Tavern Pizza, Super Thin. You fucking name it, this guy's got it. And Oliver already <laughs> said he's going to go on his, you know, on his venture there already and go have a slice of pizza. So, uh, so Johnny, where would you start from? When did you start? Originally, I mean. In the business? Yeah, so like was, when did you first step into it? I mean, it? I've been in the business since I was a little kid. How old did you start? I want to say like nine, ten years old. Yeah, that's you. Uh, full, ti- full time, I was about 15 years old. Dropped out of high school and... <laughs> dropped out of high school. Yeah, yeah. And where were you working at at that time? Your dad's? Uh, originally, I was working at a tan line, King of Prussia. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Working, for, working okay. for my uncle. My dad had his own shop. But, you know, it was him and his brother, and I was working for my, my uncles, and I didn't and, really... Want school that much? No. So you dropped out. What grade? Sophomore year, I'm guessing. I'll be honest, you, I didn't. I seventh, eighth grade. Wow. Eighth grade. Yeah. Wow. So made the decision. My dad. To go my dad's time. really. My dad's really old school, and he's like, he's like, I know he. I skipped a lot of school, and he's like, you got to pick one: school or work. So and you made the choice. Back then, I was a young kid. I didn't really know much, and I was what work. you chose. Yeah. 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 So when did you start there, making there, pizza? How old? I don't know, it's probably, like, like I said, about 15 years old, I was already making pizzas. You making pie? Oh, yeah. So when you first started at nine, what they do? Washing dishes, wiping tables? Oh, yeah. Counter Washing person, dishes and anything. Soda boy, whatever, yeah, filter yeah, sodas, anything. they come up for the slices. Yep. Learning yeah. the trade. Yeah, that's Learning how that. you got to learn it from the ground up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to learn it from the ground up. Now, what year was that? Oh, we're, we're talking back in, uh, in the 80s. You know, okay. 85 and early 90s and... So back then at your uncle's place, the menu wasn't as big as this, right? Oh, no. Even my, this is a new menu that I, I put out. Um, you know, I've, I've changed throughout the years. Uh, my menu used to be huge. This is a small menu. Oh, you downgraded. Oh, yeah. The, this is a downgraded menu. It's oh, a great wow. menu, though. You know, I, I've changed a lot. I guess um, we've all had to change through the ages. You see what works and what doesn't work and what's easy to apply to your system that you're doing, correct? Yeah. Uh, but after, after COVID, I realized things you need to change. Yeah, everybody uh, after COVID. And, uh, it was a crazy time. How was it during COVID for you? For me, uh, like I said, all businesses, for me, it took off. 
Yeah, everybody. Right. We got hit hard, and we got busy, and we adapted, and, you know, it, it was tough in the beginning. But Come in, the circle lines, you know. Oh, yeah. We X's had, on the floor, stand yeah. over here, try to do your duty. Business was good, and I started realizing there was a lot of new customers coming in. Um, you know, we were trying to figure out how to handle this influx of, the influx of people. business coming in. And and my menu was huge back then. It was hard to do Even get that. product as well, right? Get pro- product and all that. And, and I realized it was, it was a time to start changing and start downsizing my menu. Even so, though my dad didn't agree with it. How you fast know. <laughs> during that did you find? Like in the first three months, six months, or you started to make the changes right away? Well, within a couple months, I started changing everything. Everything about the restaurant. You know, good. we had a good business. Like we had a really good business. But I, I realized it could be better. You know what I mean? And, you know, for about 18 years, we had a steady, good business. Right. You know, for 18 years, like, you know. Yeah. Is it going to get better? Maybe not. But mm. for 18 years, but then COVID hit and we got... Just got hit. hit hit really hard, and I'm like, you know, maybe we can make more money. Maybe we can keep growing. Right. But for yeah. me to grow, I had to. I realized I had changes. to change a lot of stuff. Now you had table service prior to COVID. Oh, oh yeah, we had a, we had a probably a fifty percent dine in, fifty percent takeout. Okay, um, okay. Oh, it was that even? <clears throat> oh yeah, it was that even. Now it's probably eighty percent takeout. Yeah, twenty percent dine in. Yeah, a lot of people. You know. And how big is the store? How many seats? Uh, it'll fit about a hundred people. Hundred. Oh, oh, good size yeah. store. You got oh, patio yeah. outside or anything like that? We got a patio, but not many people use it. The, Complimentary yeah, in case they want to yeah, eat out there. Nice yeah. day. Put some umbrellas yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff. Yeah, you do have those customers that enjoy that. You know, so, so going back real quick, when in Royersford, you were in King of Prussia working. When I was a young kid. When I was when a young, young kid, kid around yeah. fifteen, yeah, yeah, in King of Prussia yeah. working. When did you leave there then? And where was your next well, steps going I want to say 90s? when I hit about twenty, I got married and and okay. You know, my dad had his own shop, but we... Were where, big, we're just curious, where was that shop? Uh, Tang Light in Lansdale. Up in Lansdale? Yes. Okay. My All dad right. had that for about 20-some years. But, you know, we opened up another one. And that's where I worked, my ball law. We took it from there and... In Lansdale you worked? When I, my dad had a shop in Lansdale. We opened up one in Pottstown. Palermo, okay. Oh, okay. Palermo Pizza in Pottstown. And we what year that was up. that? I want to say that was, like I said, uh... I was about 20-some years old, maybe 95. Well, curiosity, you know, Palermo's have quite a few shops down that way. Yeah. Are you guys the same Palermo's? No, are no, you guys, no. Were you guys the first to pull that name? I don't think so. There was a Palermo and Bluebell way. We're going way yeah. back. Yeah. Um, and, but, um, no, we just picked the name. We're, we're from Sicily, Carini, yeah. Palermo. We, we picked oh, that name. That's a good name, too. Yeah. I thought a creative name. Yeah. And, so and the you, shop did good. Is that good shop, shop still in operation today? Oh, yeah. So you guys sold that we shop? We sold it, and... Um, I, I decided to, me and my dad, uh, we decided to open up Giovanni's, where I'm at right now. So that shop basically operated right through 2000, yeah. if I'm following yeah, you yeah. correctly. And well, then, we're, we're a big family. Like I said, we have Brown Log, we're all in it. Yeah. So <laughs> we, we, we started spreading out. You know, yes, my dad uh, yes. bought this building, and I told him it was a good idea to open up a shop, and we opened up that shop. So I left Palermo, and I went to work in Royce Ford, and... And so on. And so on. And then the story goes on from there. It keeps going and going. And So in the beginning, the reception there, how was it? You, you know, you know right from the start. In the we, beginning, when we first opened, we, we got, you know, we were busy. Right. It, it was a good place. And it stayed busy. Then we went through some ups and downs. and Yeah, a lot of places do do that. Yeah, you we know, went through yeah. ups and downs. We hit some road ends. and but when, Now, in that store, you have, you, have, you have a liquor license at all? No. No. Yeah, I'm not a liquor guy. BYOB? BYOB, yeah. Best way to yeah. be. I, I don't want it. It's, by the time it's expensive. You, it, What's the point? For a pizzeria. You got, you got breweries all around you. So you by what? the time you buy a liquor <laughs> license and you put the money into nah, it, you're, you're $400,000 in nah, and nah, you nah, haven't nah. Paid a, no, made a fucking dime. No, thanks. No, I'm, I get, I get yeah. solicited I so many pizza. times. I had a guy tell me one time that I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm a pizza chef. All right, I'm a, I'm a BYOB. I'm not a bar guy. So, look, if you think I'm not fucking doing it right, God bless you, motherfucker. Nah, nah. You know? Um, so <laughs> that's the truth though, you yeah. know, when you break it down. So you're over there at this shop and your father and you were running it. Now uh, you basically have taken over the whole shop. Now, I took, uh, as I dudes? started finally taking over, um, when COVID hit, you know, my dad's it. older and you know, he's always been there and we've been button heads and yeah, sure. You know, I, I had a different vision. He didn't. And you know, I, I didn't have control. Yeah. Well, you, he, your father's from the old school days. Oh yeah. Right? My dad's tough. He yeah. still, he still gives me issues, man. I, right. you know, I, from, uh, <laughs> <laughs> from 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 when COVID hit to now, I, I doubled the business. Good for you. And my man. dad really? still he still battles me. Yeah, still, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? I was like, 
No, you know, business is going good. Relax. <laughs> you could put a plate you know, of gold on the table. We used to be open seven days a week. I went down to six days well, a week. Well, how was that? A t- that had to be a catastrophe for your father. Close. I did that during COVID. Uh, I, you know, I was freaking working like an animal. I was going uh, there at three o'clock, four, I swear to God, four o'clock in the morning. You know, COVID hit. I, I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to, yeah, I yeah, yeah. lost half the staff. I'm like trying to figure stuff out. I'm like, I used to get up at three o'clock in the morning trying to figure out what the fuck am I going to do? Like, are we going to close or we're not going to close? I had a list. You know, the protocols every day they came out. So I had this list that I wrote down. I'm looking at the list. I'm waking up. I'm like, this is fucking everything I wake up with every fucking day. Are you kidding me? I took the fucking list, fucking crumbled up, said, I fuck this bullshit. (laughs) I says, you wake up if you got the shit, your neck hurts, you got an earache, you got a, it's like you got fucking COVID. Get the fuck out of here. And my dad's in his 70s. Yeah, so and he wasn't working. He, he didn't want to work. Yeah, uh, my, my sister was like, he's got to stay home. My, my mom's got to stay home. It was left to me, basically. Yeah. And that's when I started running things on my own. And You didn't feel <clears> that pressure? No, not from him. I felt pressure from trying to get the business to keep yeah. going. And, and it went. Like, we were how, busy. Constantly. How's the town of Royersford? I've actually never been it's there. It's a good town. Like, Is it? Yeah, it's a good town. Good it's, size it's town? Good size town. Great schools. Really? Spring, Fort, Spring Fort, yeah. yeah it's nice. Spring it, it's there. been growing. Yeah, it's okay. in a We've nice been there area. 20 years, and it's been growing so and growing. Been, and have you uh, involved yourself in the community at all, doing any community work? Yeah, mean, I like, do as much as I can. I'll domestic. donations, whatever. Give With the schools? I do as much. Yeah. What's, um, a, what's a local high school around there? Uh, Spring Forward High School. Spring Forward High yeah. School. Okay. Gotcha. I mean, there's no easy way from there to get to here. It's just all slow driving. Nah, it's you take Route 100, 100 and that's 100, it pretty much. Bum, you can get to Philly fast and maybe go to Reading fast, but coming up this way and going the nah, other way. It wasn't too bad, the drive. No? You no. Know? Nah. It'll be quiet tonight when you, you know? drive oh, back. Yeah. I thought it was going to be longer, but yeah. So now you so, you were saying earlier your oldest boy works with you. He's your main pizza guy. Vito. Vito, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And then he chose to, did he, he quit he, school? He, he, no, nah, he didn't quit. He finished school. 18 years old, I, I told Vito, you know, go to what do you college. want to do? What do you want to do? Go to college. Yeah. Because I'm in the, we've all, I've been in the pizza industry. Our whole um, life. Like, do you yeah. really want to do this? It's, it's not an easy life. It's easier now. Not, it's not like back in the 80s or 90s. Right. But he decided to do it, and, and he's really good at it. And he's a hell of a pizza man. That's good for him. He's fast. Good you know, when you just said that just now, so you made me think of something. When you first started and you were nine years old, uh, or whichever. Yeah. The pizza shop you worked in in King of Prussia, what were the hours? I mean, it was in the mall, so it wasn't too bad. Okay. It was in 9.30. All right, mm-hmm. so you were But still... I worked at pizza shops. You did the 11 to 12, 1, 1 uh, o'clock. Friday, Saturday, 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. yeah. I did yeah. that. Uh, yeah. I worked seven days a week. Yeah. Uh, I, I did a, you know, a span of four or five years, never taking Never vacation. taking a day off. Six days a week. I mean, it burned you out. Sure, yeah, it does. Gets I, the, I went through a period where I was burned out. I'll be, well, you know? the thing that I ask you, though, is in doing this show, we've been able to bring together our other operators. And, yeah. you know, you know, shout, shout out to Bruno Schipper, Scipioni. Uh, he was going to come tonight, but he couldn't make it. But, I mean, our man, too, has been working over 30 years, you know. And, I mean, he takes his vacation when he needs or holidays. But we're not alone in the industry. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, I, the one thing I found that was – actually very supportive to myself was just hearing that. Because when you're doing it seven days a week, you're thinking you're the only guy. You know, yeah. you're not realizing we're not alone in this. We're all families that are fighting to it's make it. It's better now. It's better but now. We, we, yeah. we figure it. A lot easier now. Figure now, out that I, now that I've, I've took over and my dad, like, I pushed him out. Yeah. I had to literally <laughs> push him out. And uh, it, it's better, way better now. I tell my son, like, you have it easy. The crowd nowadays has it much easier. We close on Mondays now. Yeah. Uh, we close at 9 o'clock on, on Friday and Saturday. We close at 9.30. Sunday, 8.30. And there's not, listen, you know. there's nothing bad to that. It's just a different, you evolve with the change. I question for you, when you opened Warriors Ford, did you guys have TVs in there? Uh, no, not originally. They didn't believe it. We no, have TVs but, now, but. Yeah, but I my old man was the same way. It was I, like. I, I don't. I'm not really into the sports channels and all that. It's for, it's social entertainment. For yeah, people yeah, to see. it's, it's a there. Visual, visual exercise. We do a lot of takeout right now. It's just takeout, takeout. You, take you out. deliver, John? You you personally deliver? No, no, no. no. I got DoorDash. But okay, I don't have DoorDash directly. Like I was telling him. Yeah, I, yeah. He was explaining that he pays. The we're not fee. on the platform. We're on our. They have to come to our website. Okay. Uh, not a lot of people know, but you can get DoorDash and pay two hundred. You know, I pay two hundred dollars a month. Unlimited deliveries. Through them. 
through my my uh they got to go to his website yeah. and then once yes. that order is made it goes you co- you contact them or it, it automatically sends it to DoorDash yeah. and the drivers okay. come but if that's you go excellent. On, if you go on DoorDash we're not on it but we're not paying the 30% fee that's a smart way to you're use just the platform util- you're just utilizing their drivers yeah, yeah. Oh, okay and yeah. i'll be honest that's a great idea that's I, the I first time flat, i heard that platform mentioned that flat that free uh, uh, uh flat free uh, fee yeah and that's pretty much it. That's yeah, a first on the show. It's my, never been discussed. My quick question, though, well, with that, that's a know. great fucking platform. You know? I'm just... I'm, a lot of people don't know it. I'm mind-boggled right now you just know? thinking about it because it's very, very I, I would never have had... If they kept coming at me with 30% fees, I'm like... No, I mean, no, no, yeah. I mean, even, you can... It all, it all depends on the rate and the stuff you have. But well, what well, I'm thinking in my head, rate. you can actually... I wonder if the, you're allowed that it's... So it's one of your menus on your website. What if you have a website... Of your own online ordering system. I do. I have my own website. Oh, okay. And it doesn't matter. They just put their logo on your website. There's no logo. They don't even know it's DoorDash. My customers don't even know it's DoorDash. Uh, I'm saying that. I got it. I got it. It They go to my website and it says take out delivery and that's it. So they don't have no idea. No. That's a great platform. I'll I'll I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll I'll tell them it's DoorDash, but. Well, you know, know, you know what's other though? You got, I always worry about that third party shit. It's like I had an example tonight. Last order. They call that like 825. It was a hundred and twenty five dollar order to the hotel. <clears throat> Great order, got it in. The lady says to me at the end, she's like, "You guys are delivering it, right?" I said, "Yeah." What do you mean, man? She's like, "It's not Grubhub or DoorDash. I saw on your menu Grubhub or something." I said, "No, I have my in house driver." She's like, "All right, good," because I don't want those other. You know what I mean? I, 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 I try to be upfront. I try yeah. to be upfront with people. Do you run into that? Yeah, and I try to tell people it's DoorDash, but they're on our platform, not. They want to go on their right. website. I'm like, no, don't go there. Have you ever had a situation where, let's just say there's a problem with the order. How do you handle that? Let's just say the yeah. customer you says. You know what? It's a freaking pain. You're going to have. Is that where it's a pain in the ass? One out of 50 Has orders, you're going to have a freaking problem. Then you oh, get yeah. a, a charge back happen. or you got to have yeah, it. In uh, a, uh, I didn't get my order or. Oh, that's the worst. It when they say, hey, oh, fuck, you oh, yeah. get the order. I have so, it every freaking week. So you got to remake the order, right? Either we remake it for them or they we give them a uh, credit. That's it. There's nothing right. we can do. No, there is. Call you're, the driver you're kind of stuck. And tell you them can't to come get back. The dri- so yeah. at that right. point, you're kind of stuck just because you're in the situation. You're stuck. You're, you're, you'll get your refund if you call DoorDash. You'll get your refund. You give your customer a refund. That's it. If they want their food, they got to come there and get it. Or they're not, I'm not going to deliver it. I got you. you know? Or if they get a door, if or give them a refund and do a reorder. They can do that. I, yeah. They can do it. Yeah, so see, there's, yeah, a, there's a there's correction some, to the issue. It's a great thing to have $200 a month, but then there's those other issues, like you're saying. You're going to have issues. Even, yeah, if you you're gonna, even if you went through DoorDash directly, you're still going to yeah, have, have issues. Yeah, no, have issues. No, 100%. No. 100%. Right. I, yeah. I agree, but, that, but that's you interesting. Know, you know, uh, and you, you just do it DoorDash, not Grubhub, nah, nah, not I, Uber I, Eats. I, I, I've been contacted by Slice. This, I don't want to get into it all. I mean, when you break it down. I'm happy with one, and that's it. You, you can say that when you you think about it, you, you're saving doing a lot of aspects as far as payroll, hourly, you know, uh, oh, yeah. compensation. It's, it's, is it worth it? Yeah, there, there is some benefits worth to it. it. Hey, the only the only issue that I could see like when it would pertain is if you have some maybe large delivery that's going out because they only do a twenty mile distance. I think with some of their drivers, is that correct? I'm not sure. I thought I, I saw yeah. that somewhere. Cool, DoorDash? Jay, yeah, no. Jay, yeah, you recall right. that? Yeah, you're right. Jay Simmerall's here tonight from Caddy Corner. Everybody, oh, hello, Jay. Um, the question I have, because we, we deal with it, it they, the DoorDash and the Grubhub only go a certain amount of miles, right? Like, they'll go, what, 15 or 20 max with their Yeah, driving? no, you're right. Because Easy right? Cater, DoorDash, like, I'll, I can assign for, you have Easy Cater? No. Okay, that's something to look into. Easy Cater's a good platform. I, I know what it is. I just, not interested. All right. You know? Well, I'm saying that we have it, so we get the DoorDash driver, and if it's, like, Stroudsburg, I'll try to assign someone if I know I'm sh- we're shorthanded and it doesn't. Yeah, like it doesn't me. do it. So I'll, I'll deliver it. It's twenty miles. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. something like I'll that. I'll personally deliver it. You know, if somebody orders me fifteen pizzas. Yeah, why not? Ten minutes yeah. away or why twenty not? pizzas. I, we do our own deliveries as, with, our, with our caterings. I do all my caterings. I deliver all. Oh, that. so you guys deliver in your yeah. house your own caterings? Um, sure. Somebody calls me wants twenty pies. I'll deliver it. And oh, quick before we get, we got Sal Catania here from Delicioso Pizza in Allentown too. Hello, Sal. Big shout out. Looks like he's sleeping over there. Yeah. 
Elias. <laughs> and my nephew Gus Elias is here from Azar, from Elias Market, and then our family has Azar's Markets. Gus, no offense, but it's the same family. <laughs> he's walking out the door now. Now he's leaving. He's my nephew. All right, and my other question for you, Johnny. My, yeah. my yeah. brother-in-law Maurice hey, Azar. Let's, let's ask about these Azar. pizzas. I see you got some unique things. You got yeah, super thin, yeah. Brooklyn yeah. Square, yeah. and I see tavern style, which you only serve on the weekends. Tell us about some well, of those. Question one. Um, this, how'd you come up with all these styles that you wanted to present? I am constantly surfing the web and, and just, you know, I've known about these for a while. Um, but I'm constantly yeah. surfing and, and I... It's a bar pie. I, it's a bar pie, yeah. yeah. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll put stuff on, the, uh, on, on Facebook and see how my customers react. Are and you very it, into, you, social are you into social media? I am now. Good. You, know, yeah, uh, you a got couple TikTok? years ago, I wasn't. Yeah. Are you doing it, it or do you have somebody me, doing it? Me, me, I, I'm okay. doing it all. Instagram. It takes yeah. it takes it's seconds. a pain in the ass, but you, you have to. You have yeah. to. You, know, you have to. It ma- doesn't make a difference yet. Yeah. It makes yeah. a freaking difference. Just putting up you a know? picture of your pie that just came out of the picture oven. Picture of your pie and just sandwich, get, uh, whatever Interacting it is. with customers, it makes a difference. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did I do that before? No, but now I realize I So I what's up, what's up with this tavern pie? What kind of pan are you using? I brought you one, by the way. Oh, um, fucking oh, awesome. Oh, yeah. I want to try that. Yeah, um, it's a Lloyd pan. Yeah, we use Lloyd. You can order them online. But yeah, it Lloyd, looks, Lloyd does a good circular? job with the Is pans. it circular? It's circular, and it only has an edge about that much. Wow. It looks so, fucking interesting. What did you bring tonight, Joy? I brought you a Sicilian half pepperoni, a large plane, or New York style, and a Detro- uh, tavern. I'm sorry. Beautiful. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Our what tavern, would you say your most popular break? pies? Well... All right, our New York style is always going to be oh, yeah, number, 100%. One. number one. Yeah, um, I, I usually tell people, like, for us, example, grandma. I'll be honest with you, the super thins sell really good. Uh, the taverns took off big. Um, the Detroit, they all sell, I'll be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, everything sells. And you know, the tavern, all, the reason yeah. you only do it on the weekends is because of the time work? It's The effort? It's It depends who, who's there. Like, you know, I'm I close on Mondays. Tuesdays, me and my son are not there, and I don't want to hit. The one guy by yeah, himself. Yeah, makes sense when we talked about him, that. Yeah, I got you. I so then by Wednesday, you make the yeah. dough. Thursday, yeah. you get them ready. Exactly. Friday, Saturday, you have them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. Friday, Saturday, that's Saturday. That's what it's all about. I got you. And it kind of, too, so it process. isolates the demand, exactly. which I think is a smart idea. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? It, like, my dad like, don't hey. like the idea, but... Well, we do the same thing. <laughs> Everything my dad said is like, it's got to be the opposite. The well, we do the same thing, Johnny. Like, why don't you do it on Wednesday on Thursday? Because on Friday and Saturdays, we get hit pretty hard. Yeah. And we got to deal with Detroit's, Taverns, Brooklyn's. Jay. Come yeah, on. I mean, we do the same thing with Detroit's. I'll be honest, it's not that hard. No, we only do Google, six. You know, in the beginning, yeah. uh, you hold know, on, we got a, uh, we got a special. We got a, I real, real here quickly googled here, here, uh, talking here. The Grubhub radius, Grubhub will not exceed seventy mile radius from the restaurant. Seventy Seven. miles. Seventy. Seven zero. Wow. DoorDash wow. will not deliver past seven miles. Huh. Wow. Now that I, I didn't know. No, I, I knew neither. Well. That's I fucking mean, that's crazy. crazy. Bro, you know, 70 miles? 70 miles. I mean, the, come on, man. 70 miles. <laughs> you need to be on that. Jeez. Wow. We were just talking about Wait, just, just think about it. You get an order 70 miles away. Holy cow. How many pizza shops they're passing on the way there? Let's nice. look this up and uh, uh, we'll come back all right. and taste some yeah, pies. Yeah, well, so, hey, we'll t- we're going to take a break. We're going to now give uh, John, our, that came on, here's uh, official... You are now Pizza Fella certified, guys. Pizza nice. Fella certified shirt. Yeah. You guys see it there. So for everyone out there, uh, become a if you're on the show, become a sponsor. Just direct message us. Um, basically, guys, what we're really Thank doing you. is just trying to build sponsors, build our community, and have uh, local sponsors. You want to come on? We'll have you on. We'll shout out your uh, your business every episode, and we want to just grow this. Come back and try and some pizza. Come back, yeah. try pizza. But we'll yeah. be back. In next segment, try some more of his pizza, and then we're going to talk about the Dave Portnoy One Bite Pizza Festival. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. All right. All right, we are back. Second segment here, Pizza Fellas Podcast, Episode 8. We are here with our friend John from Giovanni's. We're trying some of his pizza right now, but before we got to keep going, as Antonio takes a big ass bite, we forgot to take a shot. Cheers. Cheers to all our listeners. Remember, subscribe, listen to Pete's Fellas Podcast on YouTube, Spotify. Salute. Cheers. Hello. 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 Mm. Oh, and for our uh, listeners and watchers out there, Jimmy, we are it's drinking. Smooth. It's smooth. 
how the, why do I always have a fucking problem saying this shit? Ask him. Siete, He's the one that told me to fucking buy it. Siete leguas. 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 <laughs> Justin sold us all the tequila. There we go. Resposado tequila. <laughs> it's fucking delicious. I got to say, I like the spice. That was the most expensive part of the trip coming back from New York. We stopped at the So uh, <laughs> we're going to get into that right away. But right now we're trying the pizza and I'm going to go in, guys. I have the tavern pie. The tavern's oh. good. The tavern's great. I got the, what is it? The, that's uh, Sicilian. Sicilian, Brago yeah. Sicilian. You use different sauces or same must sauces? Um, a little bit different for the tavern. I try to change them all up. That way it tastes a little bit different. Wow. wow. This ta- pie. Tavern pie is fucking, I could drink a couple he beers with this. He made these pies hours ago and they're still tasting I, I made them at 5.30. Justin. Do you know what? I, I the want, reheat's awesome. Jimmy, Jimmy. The, I mean, plain. the pie is great. Yeah, different pies reheat differently. Listen, if you're ordering pizza... For a party, nobody's eating it right away. Thanks, Jim. You know what I mean? Right. So you're going to eat. This is the state well, you eat pizza. In. I had to Unless make it at five thirty to get here in time. And cup pepperoni you know. too is key. Yeah. Not a lot of people do tavern pizza. Right well, I, I very very see. few. I want to start doing it. I don't think <laughs> um, anybody in my area really does it except me. Joe, so no, you're doing an ultra like an ultra thin. That's almost like a, a we do a cracker a, crust. That's a fourteen ounce dough right there. Good. Yeah, it's our small dough that you just stretch. Our, out. It's basically our personal. We stretch it out. Yeah. yeah, sixteen inch. Yeah, that's a sixteen inch. Yeah, it's great. It's this pie. Yeah, it's good. This I, pie, I, I gotta say, it's worth the drive down there. This pie right here, this tavern pie, it's definitely worth the drive. If you're down in that area in Warriors Ford, you gotta stop. I mean, uh, it's been selling. People love it, and oh, I love man. I love the cheese on the edge. I mean, that crack. You can hear, you can hear me chewing. You know, you know what this is? This is a fucking Sunday, Saturday, college football, Sunday, NFL football pie. I'm enjoying yeah. it. Drink some fucking beers. I'm glad you guys talked Relax with your boys. You know? Yeah, it's a good pie. Good spin on it. Good job. Really Thank good you. job. Thank you. Yeah, you know, great flavor. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that, that is really good. How's the plane? Good. Good. Yeah. Sicilian kicked ass. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I now, is your see- Sicilian dough different than uh, your regular dough? Now it is. Okay. A month ago it wasn't, but now it is. What happened a month ago? You're making a different mix? Oh. That's oh, all yeah. him. I'm like, yeah, hey, I do this, I do that. I'm like, I f- and I figure it out. Uh, I experiment a lot, and I try different things. And Water will give you lift. Little by little. I, I, I'll change things. Little. That My pizza is 100% different than it was uh, probably two years ago. I was with a... Um, a close friend of mine. He's actually going to be in the competition on Sunday. His name is Vito uh, Reykia. He owns um, Bellinopoli in um, in Florida. Is it Port Charlotte? Excuse me, Vito, for saying this, but is it Port Charlotte? I think it's Port Charlotte, yeah. yeah this I guy, right. I was there for an hour and a half. All he spoke about was dough. But he was oh, yeah. making yeah, dough. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, my God, this guy is just kept going and going and going and going. But that's their, it's the passion that's within yeah. you. There's yeah. a lot to know about dough. Uh, oh, there's oh, a science yeah. to it. There's I, I, I to started it. learning it about a year and a half ago. And, you know, originally it was all, you know, sauce and cheese, sauce and cheese. And, you know, then you got Dave Portnoy going to yeah. all these places and – Pieces. Made everybody step up their game in some form or way. It made me step up my game. You know? Listen, I was watching a video the other day. Made me want to try, which I might one day, because I'm making most of the dough at the restaurant right now, and I'm doing the sauce. So I saw a video, and the fucking guy takes the dough. It's at a place in New York, actually. They make the dough. They get the plastic white bins, right? They're making their dough. They put their water, their salt, whatever, their flour they're doing, the yeast, all that. Then they take it out. Of after, I want to say it said about 30 minutes of mixing. Okay, they p- added some stuff. They put it in the white bin. They let it raise in the cooler for 24 hours. Yeah, it's, yeah, a, the it's double, a cold the, fermentation. Yeah, but then they the take the raise. dough. Yeah, but yeah, then they the take the dough. And they cut it. Yeah, no, no, no. Then they take the dough out of the box and put it back in the bowl. Okay, in the mixing bowl, the wet dough, after it's raised, add more flour. Oh, so he's, uh, I know what okay, he's saying. Okay, yeah. add more water, olive oil, and salt. Let's erase, then he cuts out one size dose. And that's how There's that's so what many he does. different. But I, in my head, I'm thinking that. Amazing. And the dough came out like slime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hydrated. It's, it looked, and he said, and I was like, holy shit. So well, he's doing. He's, he's got to be cooking at very high heat. And, you no, know, it is. It is a cold pizza. You're exactly don't forget. Right. Yeah, yep, yep. It's We're using pizza. yeast. Vito's starting to use mother yeasts. So oh, that's, that's a, a whole, whole nother thing. The Vigas, so mother yeast, bigas, uh, uh, Polish, all that. Yeah. They, they, 
it's a passion for him. I, I, try, you know? to pull, I try to pull this. Yeah. How'd it come out? It came out good, but uh, it, it, it's you still... Need, a, you need to you, you know, need to keep working with it. You got to keep working with it. Never. Well, did it make a huge difference? I don't think so. You also got to look at your establishment and how you're working. You know. How's it fit in? Well, I don't... Like I said, I tried the Polish, and it was good. But the technique I'm doing now, it, it works well, and... And you're uh, getting a response yeah, from the dough uh, that you like. Yeah. I'm, I'm about 90% where I want to be. I, I still think my pizza can be better. And that's what you got to well, work for. You, you know, know what? what? Cheers to you. Let's you know? take one, another shot quick. Oh, my God. Take another another shot. Shot. We're going to cheers to this. Never uh, be satisfied. you got to keep going. <laughs> there no, you go. you're right. You're right. No, you're exactly you right. Always gotta you always got to be educated. Well, I, the, the, the problem I see many times is fuck. if you feel that you know everything, you, nah, you're, nah, you're nah. going to end up knowing nothing. Nah, and nah. you got to be able to have this conversation. Yeah. You know, after this, we could talk. Sal's here, Jay's here. See how many times we talk. That's just what we do. You know, you have a conversation about how do you handle this or what do you do, and that's what this is. There's it a, opens up that forum. There's a you lot know? going on in the pizza industry, and, um, you know, you got Dave Portnoy, and he's going to all these high-end places that are selling out pizzas constantly. Jimmy, did you? You know, they're, they're doing you? something with their dough that <laughs> yeah, well, it's different than when I – my dad had a – we had a recipe. It was a 30-year-old <laughs> recipe, you know, and it worked great. Uh, but it it could be better, you know. Oh, and I, I started that. realizing that. Cheers, cheers to it. Could always be better. Cheers always learning. So, cheers. All right, guys. So let's talk about it. Um, Johnny, York, here we come. Go ahead. Start it off. We're gonna start it off, guys. Jimmy, Jimmy the Dave Portnoy One lemon, Bite lemon, Pizza lemon, Festival. Lemon. And if you guys haven't seen this video yet, you go fucking check it out. Uh, I believe it got 500,000 fucking views in two hours last Saturday from the hours of 3 to 5 p.m. I was at the restaurant working while my dad, Antonio, Oliver, Justin, Juice Man, and my Uncle Jerry and my cousin Anthony were there with them at the The pizza fucking fest. 18-year-olds. And they were partying, drinking, and Juice Man... Got, you know, he had some brewskis in him, had some pizza in a, him. We had to send police out to the go mixed, find these the two. The mixed drinks. <laughs> the mixed hey, the drinks. VIP section, drinks are free. Well, <laughs> real quick, before we get into the details, Juice, <laughs> play it for him. Play it. If you guys haven't heard it, here is the rap that went viral uh, on X. But, but, all right. You're going to like it. The freestyle me. rap in the Washington Post. <laughs> right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Dave's Pizza Reviews, we love the most, but you know who we hate? The fucking Washington Post! Yeah. Barstool well, fans, is, you'll him, all right? agree. Yeah. <laughs> Barstool fans, you'll all agree. You can one bite these nuts. Tim and Emily! Oh. Yeah. Oh. Got him! Oh. And hey, they put that on their site, remixed. Yeah, you know, they, and then they Dave Portnoy, for those who weren't watching, we were watching it here, but you can go watch it on his uh, Barstool post and his page. Uh, he turns around <laughs> and he goes, that was fucking fire. So, oh, yeah, fire. Yeah, he called it fire. Yeah, meanwhile, we're driving there. We said we got to get to Portnoy, and Antonio says, there's no way we're getting to No, hard. you said it. No, I said, you fuck said you. We you're not going to fucking do it. That's we what haven't I fucking recorded. said. You said there's no way we're getting to it. Heading down to New York Pizza Festival. Gonna meet Portnoy. Get some people on our. We're gonna get to him, dude. No, you're not. I mean, everybody's gonna be there. Well, he's gonna break in the rap. Who's gonna break in the rap? The freestyle rap on the Washington Post. And this is why I'm trying to recline and relax in the goddamn backseat of the car, guys. They were arguing like I never fucking heard before. (laughs) So where'd you guys end up after you guys your first? No, where we where we started? Yeah, where'd you start? (laughs) Well, listen. So we're going to a pizza fest, but Mr. Joe decided he wanted a slice of pizza. Yes. <laughs> so we had So we had to go to LMB Spumoni Garden. Well, we had yeah. time. We got it was 11 Real fucking quick. o'clock. They pushed it back Real to quick. 1 1 30. Fast forward. Fast forward to when they came home at night. I was still at the pizza shop. Antonio stops and he goes to me. First thing he fucking says to me. We're on the way there, and your fucking dad says, let's stop at a fucking pizza place where we're going to a pizza <laughs> fest. He goes, oh, so we had to eat a slice Unlimited before the fucking fast. pizza I fest. I was fucking hungry. First of all, That's we stopped, first, first thing coffee, he said to me. and they're like, you want something from uh, Wawa? I was like, Wawa? We're going to fucking Wawa? What the hell am I going to I got a, I got a hash brown. I got a fucking hash brown. I got a hash brown, brown too. Oh, we did stop at Wawa. Yeah, but they didn't put fucking Wawa. salt on it. I opened it up. I fucking got stuck on my fucking throat over here. I couldn't stand it. 
And now I'm down, down. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Everything. Well, then we stopped at uh, Uncle Jerry's house and yeah. and cousin Anthony to pick them up. <laughs> oh, that was a fucking you ordeal. Yeah. Oh, my I was God. I was in the house like thirty minutes. I'm like, where's this fucking yeah. guy? Then your then his realized. aunt shows up. Yeah. And she's like creeping. She's like Joe. I'm like, no, he's inside. Could you fucking call him? <laughs> get get his ass out of here. I was inside having coffee. You know? <laughs> and then you guys nice went from time. my Uncle Jerry's house to fucking... Uh, when we got there... To Spumoni Gardens. To Spumoni yeah, Gardens. Went to L&B Spumoni Gardens. So then I ordered a slice. I, I wanted to eat a slice. And then we were looking around. And then you said... No, was it? You my cousin Anthony said there was a nice deli down the street. I'm, I'm like, nice. but you understand so, we're going to eat like I was fucking like, pizza all day? Why don't we go to the deli? And everybody's looking at me like, we're going to eat. I was like... What is a fucking good deli? You know? I, no, we're going. So, all right. Then we went. Thank God we didn't go to the deli because we found parking right next to the show then. You know, no, we yeah. made parking. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah, find yeah. it. How do you we, make parking We made our own parking. We made our own spot. We, yeah, we, yeah, made, we made our own spot. We pulled up. The people next to us are like, you can't park here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't park. We cops. We said, let's do our best to keep driving. What does Joe do? He steps in the deepest puddle as soon as he gets out of the car. Get out of the fucking car. So then we wait. A half hour, another half hour. Then we're getting fucking frustrated. Whoa. And shout out to Peter. Peter, the... Uh, bagel Schmagel. The Bagel Schmagel. Bagel Schmagel, Schmagel, Schmagel guy yeah. security. Yeah. Bagel Schmagel, shout out man. to Peter Sh from Bagel Schmagel. <laughs> <laughs> so now... We, they, I could have had a nuclear bomb in my backpack. He let me throw. They're letting us in. <laughs> so they're like, the tickets. So, you know, I'm not this electronic. I pull the tickets up on my phone. And she's trying to go over the tickets. And it's like... Oh, you have to go up to Will Call. I'm like, oh, we're, here we go. Well, now we're starting. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, are you, Will Call? So I get to Will Call. I leave these guys, and Will Call says to me, no, they got to give you the tickets down below. I was like, are you fucking? I just told you. I says, if you need to call the person that we have these tickets from, we'll call them. So then finally she accommodated us, and she gave us the wristbands, and I got back to them. But uh, Bagel Schmagel... Let us stay let, right in the front let line. Let Justin in. And then let us right yeah. in. I let you in. Hold on. It's like a fucking desert around here. Jimmy, get me a beer, please. <laughs> what about the lady? Hey, with hey, the, don't talk to him like that. What about asshole. the lady with the Fuck pink him. hair? Thank you. What lady with the pink hair? That you gave oh, a fucking shirt. Oh, Oliver exchanged a shirt with her, and she gave us a, a yeah. pizza oh, fucking hat. Pizza hat. Where is the hat? My Uncle Jerry has I it I thought Oliver was going to take her home. <laughs> <laughs> we were trading shirts for hats. So you we guys get shirts. in. But it's first of all, let me understand, let me make this clear. If you looked at us, not only us, but everybody around us, we looked like we took a shower yeah. with our clothes on it before we wet. went. It was wet. It was really oh, wet. It was didn't a you wet have ponchos vessel. on? It didn't they matter. Fucking that help. Didn't help. They were going through us. The, the puddles. You Oliver puddles gave me the everywhere. fucking poncho. The fucking wind was blowing the fucking rain side. Oh, and by the way, he had three pairs of brand new. Anybody want socks? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I, he's carrying <laughs> socks around. Yeah, but what did we need after his <laughs> socks? He, he brought socks into the festival. That's oh, all he there in the car. They're in the three car. Three pairs of socks. God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your foot is not fitting there for yeah. No, they're big fucking socks. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know you wear baggy socks. So we get in there. <laughs> We're walking. And we're walking. No, no, we the, start. We the start. first rate, the first stop for about half the crew is, where's the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> so now we got to find the bathroom. And, oh, and then some oh where's the beers. beer, too? Where's yeah, the beer? Was, yeah, then we the went beer? down to the field, and then we started our row. Then, started tasting. then we just lost everybody, and then what we if, found everybody. What if you got to take a shit? Oh, we found the, we found a place to go. Yeah. Oh, well, you yeah. found it's it. It's a no, baseball wait, stadium, right. so the they best had bathrooms. Was, we're in VIP. So we're telling these two, no. they, it's like we're running around our kids over here watching them to find them because who's jumping over here, who's jumping over there? So we go, listen, we're going to be right back. We're going to the bathroom. Little do we know, after we left and we're eating dinner, I don't know why you guys went to the bathroom. They had the VIP bathroom. Why don't you fucking tell us? <laughs> we fucking walked a mile and a half to go find a clean toilet. Nice trailer, nice shit. Nice trailer. In there. They got a masseuse inside there, everything. It's literally we right next to where he did his rap. We another cabin over there. Unbelievable. That's so then funny. we left there. We dropped Uncle Jerry and cousin Anthony off. Wait, well, back to the no, pizza. No, we, we went to the restaurant. First. You got You got to no, say one thing. How was the pizza? How was the pizza? Back to the pizza places. I give these guys hats yeah, yeah, off. They, they struggle. The condition. The conditions these guys were in. Like uh, the worst part of it was the infield pizza shops. Those ovens, like they tried to do their best to keep them covered. But you got these canopies that could start on fire. 
You know what I mean? From the heat. Yeah. So you had ovens that were half kind of getting wet, not getting wet. I mean, the lines, there was 5,000 people there. Yeah. So Pepe's, Pepe's was pre-cooking their pizzas in Yonkers and well, bringing them drink. up. Don't forget, it's a 900-degree pie. Yeah, it they was couldn't a tough get, deal there for There was them. no way they could get that cold pie. So it wasn't, it wasn't fair to judge them on that show. No. Even though... Uh, was the one Angelos from South Philly? They Angelo, were underneath. He was on the top deck. Top, so he was they in were one of the best situations. Yeah, so some some places had more of an advantage. I probably Luigi's tried ten places, there. and Angelos uh, was my pizza favorite. Was South up Philly. There. I mean, it was a few places. No, best so. pizza was on the on the. Floor. No, the best pizza I tried. Yeah, it was on. I the, wasn't a big fan of best pizza, but I'll give it a benefit uh, of the doubt. I'll try. Make everybody. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I think uh, Santillo's kicked ass, so Santillo's kicked no, ass. No, but no, he's he's fair. What yeah, would you? I was being what, fair. Were, what was I your said, favorite? I'll give them a fair chance, and I'll try it in real life. I'll Listen, stop if there Dave fucking Portnoy can fucking hold the festival and then say his favorite pizza from all thirty-five pizza shops was this. So can yeah, we? The, no, the but bottom, fucking all around that. No, I'm saying thing. the ovens. The ovens weren't cooking it. The bottom was fucking white as a ghost. I mean, you had situations. Yeah. Why does it go? Here's what I'm going to say is you're out there, you got rain hitting everything, and you got a lot of people breaking their ass. So you, the perspective on it is one, it's a Saturday. These are their families there. I mean, the one guy, uh, Little Luke's, was it? Or the, with the little boy yelling, Who wants pizza? Who wants pizza? Pizza it here! Was fabulous. Baby. And the pizza. I love listen, that kid. In that situation, I pulled out, I would come with my dish like this, and you'd step off, boom. You're getting your pizza's getting hit with rain. It's like that's is that their fault? Yeah, you're no. eating in the rain. So. You're eating in the rain. It's a monsoon. The the freaking things are flying around, and they're vigilantly, you know, vigilantly trying to serve you and get you through the line. So I mean, like Lucali's, you couldn't get in. Yeah, there was the like Farris, three shops you couldn't, you couldn't get even, in. The lines were um, so long, I wasn't waiting. Angelo's was long, but and it people was were waiting there. in these fucking lines. Yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah. Like, uh, you had. Um, uh, Sally's a Pete's. You couldn't get it. That was very hard to get the Sally's. Uh, Patsy's wasn't too bad. Yeah, no. Down in there. But John's the, a bleaker we had. I mean, we John's had a lot. A we had a lot of... Yeah. And again, you know what? For what the conditions were, for what the atmosphere was like... They did a great job. The humidity no, that was they there. Did they job. did what they could to a degree. And, and De Lorenzo's, De Lorenzo's, you, to get into De Lorenzo's was like, oh my God. Yeah, I'm just and, hoping this happens again next year. I mean, well, if it was sunny, I would be a whole different situation. Yeah. But yeah. it was an experience that you need to go to. It puts a perspective, for me as an operator, it put a perspective on because you always know, like, you like to know how you feel where you can sit in the game of pizza and that's not in a, in a state to say be negative or positive. It's a competitive state <laughs> to say, hey, I, I'm working hard at this. Just like these families are, you know. And um, hats off to Portnoy and the whole group. Making he gave this us happen. a souvenir. Yeah, yeah. You can see yeah. What was the lady's name? Said that we could take this. Uh, uh, Justin knows the name. What was her name? What the hell was the name? And we kept saying she, you, M, no. Margie. Margie. No. She said take what Start you want. Start with an M, though. Oh, dear. Marianne. Yeah. It was Marianne. Yeah. She said take what you want. Take the stadium. Yeah, I mean, there was other, there was, yeah, but the, in New York you might be able to. You could buy merch. What were what's the shots? The peanut butter shots. They had that. There. How much was a beer? Of, well, we didn't. Uh, we didn't, didn't pay anything. It was eight dollars. We Mixed we drinks were about fifteen or sixteen, but that was general admission, which was still two hundred plus. I saw Portnoy was fucking ripping the high uh, noons. Yeah, that's all he, he was drank, ripping. But, the sponsored by them. Um, oh, all right. I knew there was a high noon fellas podcast. I'll drink in my bed. There was a high noon about the jib. Yeah, there was a high noon tent. Uh, or the VIP section was four hundred dollars extra, but everything was free. Yeah, but uh, so. we ended up in the VIP section. And you got you fuckers in the VIP well, going we nuts. We were pizza no, we're running around they with the college hey, kids. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> come on in. So. And we're in the rain. Wondering the best was we're in the rain, wondering where the two of them are. So we're in line getting pizza. All of a sudden, his phone, my phone, I have off. I'm not fucking answering the phone in the rain. All of a sudden, he's like, "They're in the VIP section." I was like. What? What are they doing? He goes, I don't, they sound like they're running around like fucking college kids. So, we had, there was a section with sofas and that was covered, but there were so many people there. In was there were so many you people in there, yeah. in there. It was well, it was a well worth adventure. I got to say something, though. I got to say something. There wasn't a fucking plate on the floor. No. 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 There wasn't no. a napkin on the floor, a yeah. plate. No, I mean, I got to say, that's. You that saw guy. Maria over there. <laughs> Sweeping all away. Yeah, I seen were, the same yeah, I, yeah. That was her name, so. Oh, I, 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 I seen I, her I 153 times I was gonna sweeping away. Boom, 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 boom. She must have swept oh, the whole stadium 10 times. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, it was. Uh, let's talk about funny. what we did after the pizza festival. <laughs> oh, that, well, afterwards. After then. The pizza hold on, hold on. We got. Oh, sh- then we also. We're gonna do the shout out. Okay. Here we go. Here's the Dave Portnoy shout out for our listeners. Pizza, pizza fellas podcast right here. The hottest in the world. The hottest in the uh, world. You heard nice. that there. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. we did make a couple contacts. We're talking about Peppies in Connecticut. I reached out to her. Yeah. Podcast right here, the hottest in the world. Angelos, I talked to them. And you're, just so everybody understands, we actually had equipment that we were testing prior to this. We were in the car testing. We tested it. In in wah, wah, wah. Oh, we tested wah, wah, it all right. Bathroom. And the best I was fucking was yelling him the whole fucking time down going down I'm there. I'm there, and I look over, and they do the test with me. I was like, look at this fucking garbage here in this fucking place. Where's the Yelp on that shit? Yeah. I mean, this is the coffee stand looks like somebody pissed and shit all over the fucking thing. And people over here, give me more coffee. Give me more coffee. Let me grab a donut. I get the, get somebody's ass out here change that fucking garbage. Yeah. You know, what the fuck? Yeah. And my dry hash brown fucking choked on it. Anyway, so. Uh, it was a great show, time. It was a After good time. After you guys left, you weird. We so wait, wait. Oh. We brought the equipment to the, we brought the equipment to actually interview people. But we couldn't even bring it out. It would have destroyed all the equipment. Like, we yeah. were set yeah. up. We had a whole Way thing. And it would have been pretty cool, you know, because everybody, I think, who was in those operations would have been willing to talk to somebody, you know, and just be positive about pizza. And it was truly positive. You saw Umberto's donated all the money. Yeah. You know, that they yeah. were paid to go there. Yeah, yeah. they were paid $7,500 to shops, and then some of the shops donated that to uh, children's charities yeah, and things like which that. Is, so it was all in good Which you should have done. Exactly. You know, all in good faith. And All right. Was, so right. after that, you know, uh, <laughs> we went, where'd you go? John's, right? <laughs> well, well, wait, no, no, no. all time out. Joe's. So we yeah, get well, back. You Joe's got going in with No, wedding. no, no. Well, after we, we took the, uh, <laughs> well, when Marianne gave us all the, the <laughs> stuff, gave we stuff. went back to our VIP section where the truck was. <laughs> <laughs> VIP parking. VIP parking. Boom. I come right out. All right. Where are we going to go? Well, we called a good friend of ours. I could say yeah, his name. No, it, I called Nick. Well, we, Joe called Nick Baccarella. And shout out to Nick. Shout out to Nick and his place. But then, and uh, we—I don't know what, why we didn't go there, but we ended up going to Johns of Avenue U. We were there. We were by Johns of Avenue U, and you, me and you looked it's at each other and said, "When's the last time you were here?" And yeah. I was like, oh, God, it'd be so we parked years. again. My VIP parking right in front. Yeah, it was right in front. <laughs> Come of the on, fucking place. we got the oh. only spot right up. It was the only place next to the fucking garbage can. Whole fucking neighborhood. Oliver you know? changed his socks for the second time. <laughs> And then we're out there. He comes back. I was like, what are you guys doing? No, because I went inside. I get a table for for change of socks. 15 minutes. He had baseball socks on. She's asking me, where are Don't fucking say you didn't. Don't fucking say. They came up to your knees. Don't say they didn't. (laughs) (laughs) They were tube socks. They were tube socks. You got them on tonight. They were like pantyhose. That's what's in right now. That's what's in right now. I'm like, what the fuck is this guy putting on? I thought literally he's going to go into the first inning. I'm like, what is this guy fucking doing? First batter's up. So we finally get in. We're fucking drenched. Yeah. The poor lady's like, you need a table? Wait, you need a table? In the booth. We need Man. fucking air dryers. Bring out everything. <laughs> and then the first, as soon as we sit down there, where's the bathroom? Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> yeah. Where's the bathroom? We're going to go soak it wet. We Where's spent the half bathroom? the day in the fucking shit house. Yeah. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Antonio comes, and somebody came out of the bathroom, and Antonio says, how's the shitter? How's it <laughs> like, it's a private door. You can it was go literally take a, a shit. shower. Go take your they shit. took the shower out, and they put the fucking bathroom in. You know what? Talk about that old restaurant real quick. <coughs> What's the place in Atlantic City you go to? Uh, the fucking Italian oh, restaurant. Uh, um, no, out yeah, of the cellar. Chef Bolas. Chef Bolas out of the cellar. Yeah, yeah great cellar. restaurant. Would you got to take a shit? If you gotta you go in the hits, kitchen. You gotta, you gotta go, go through the kitchen, the kitchen yeah. to the bathroom door, and you're like in the bathroom. You're like, "Am I really gonna take a shit right now? <laughs> Am I really, that? That was what it reminded me of. Like, if so, I really nah, this yeah. this this poor lady put fucking three tables together within a heartbeat. Yeah, she was good. And she was a good by the time you blink your eye, there was food on the table. Yeah, we ordered all appetizers. I mean, we ordered we ordered probably like a dozen appetizers. The best was as the food started to come out, we've got. Three tables in Sauces front of us. Too. Then she starts bringing extra two tops next to us to put more food on. So yeah. we, have, we were stretched out. At one point, we told her, stop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? We're like, yo, stop. Stop bringing More food bread. Out. We're stop dipping it. the bread. It was, stop it. Did that you guys get dessert? So potato croquettes come out. You know, they, oh. they find they're great. This fucking bacala says, what are they, mozzarella sticks? I was about to kick them off the table. <laughs> <laughs> what a disrespect. It was good food. You did, did it look like a croquette? Yeah. yeah. According no, to Oliver, it was a fucking mozzarella stick. He thought it was one of Jerry's mod sticks. Yeah. 
You know? <laughs> imagine. Oh, my God. Imagine you asked that. So after a good meal, we had a nice coffee. Yeah, we had a good coffee. It and was then good. We, uh, we dropped on to go Jerry off again. And then uh, we just headed home. And we headed yeah, home. Well, no. 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 Then we, liquor store no. stuff. Yeah, I forgot about we it. We got that. spoken into. You got to buy this because it's good. You got to buy this because it's Saturday. You got to buy this for next week. We almost made it across Justin. the border. The new, almost. The newest salesman for Bourbon Street Liquors. Yeah, yeah. Bourbon Street Liquors <laughs> in Phillipsburg. Then we're in his truck. We're in his truck waiting for him, and he's running out with a fucking box. Oh, my God. Of a Here samurai. Did you bring that? A samurai? Yeah. What the fuck is that? You saw some, some unbelievable with Japanese whiskey. It's the <laughs> shit I got you. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah, but that. one, like, bigger than that. It was the, the statue version. that... What the, the it's, fuck? It's a yeah. fucking yeah. samurai No, the, the first samurai thing. Remember yeah, that I one? know what. I remember the, the fucking This thing. is the, the fucking tequila helmet. version of it. Well, so how big we talking? Like this. My God. Well, wait, how much, how much is that, right? You know what he says in the car? I'm going to give this to my mom. <laughs> Who mom, the fuck are you kidding? Exactly. What mom? <laughs> she puts flowers in it. Get the okay. fuck out of here. You, <laughs> you just spent $3,000 on this thing. You're going to fucking give it to your mom? You're going to play an 11 fucking Who the fuck are you kidding? Uh, it was a good day. It was a good day. Fucking overall. Joe's walking around with a shopping cart in there at some point. <laughs> yes. a fucking shopping cart. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. So All where right. Are we at? Well, hey, uh, we again, Johnny from Giovanni's Pizza. Johnny from Pizza. Giovanni's yeah, 466 Main you. Street, Royersford, PA, 610-948-3693, pizzageo.net. Since 2003, we're going to go on to the third segment. And also, real quick, Johnny... We always do this with our guests. Uh, give a shout. Something that you want to, you know, all our listeners to the other pizza guys in the industry, something, some advice, something positive that you um, would give out to them. Advice to people is, um, you know, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to change your menu and downsize if you have to and just e- experiment. And Amen. And that's pretty much keep, it. Keep like, learning, basically. Keep learning. Yes, and, keep learning uh, and understand. Yeah. Always, always try to improve. That's and what I've been trying to To me, honestly... Just meeting you, you're yeah. you sound like a very humble person. Yeah, uh, I think you are a hardworking, humble person. You and to have your son working by your side, yeah, that's a great thing. Cheers to you and your family. Uh, I wish you the best. I, I know I all of us that. here. Thanks for having me. Always. No. It was, this, this may not be the last. It was a pleasure. That tavern pizza. Uh, I, I love being here. This, <laughs> Guys, this go, go to his place if you're up yeah. that way. Uh, Royals Ford. Giovanni's Pizza. Uh, where's it near again? Like uh, It's near Pottstown. Pottstown. Okay. Near Pottstown. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. near so Pottstown. not far from the uh, Philadelphia Premium, Premium oh, yeah. Outlet. I'm you're right close. near there. Yeah, I'm yeah, like five so, minutes All right, so if you're by the uh, Philadelphia Outlets... Go to Giovanni's Pizza. I'm telling you, try that. We're going to stop. We're going to stop. Tavern pizza. We're going to stop. Yeah, like the tavern. The tavern yeah, pizza is yes. fucking beautiful. You guys are welcome. Um, thank you. Thank you. And then just to go on, we're going to take a quick break. But our third segment, we're going to bring on another of our, one of our first official sponsors. Uh, he's going to be coming on. And we're going to just talk about something, you know, some, the world in general. We're, you know, we're going to talk about uh, topics, what's going on. Something super. We'll talk about my company from the sponsorship that we have. But we'll see you guys in a little bit. Thank you. Pizza fellows. All right. We are back. Segment three. Segment three. We're going to take it off and uh, start off real quick with a cheers. Cheers, everyone. Salute. Cheers. cheers. Salute. All right, episode eight, Pete's Fellows Podcast. Follow us on Linktree, X, formerly known as Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, page, Spotify. And if you want to sponsor us, guys, direct message us. We're always there. We'll accommodate you. We love supporting local businesses. So to continue with that, this is a long, long time friend of mine. I would say we probably went back, shit. Since I the last picture I remember is when we were in Steve's basement and we were me, you, Gus, Randy, Steve, and Kevin. I looked like a transgender fucking weirdo <laughs> at an early age. <laughs> it was fucking bad. And it looked like my it's so funny, but Kevin always said that I looked like Rosie O'Donnell in that picture. But uh we will <laughs> we'll go on that. That's a different story for a different day. But I've been with friends with him. I played football against him in high school. Uh, we're very good friends, and I call him my cousin because I've known him for so long. Uh, Tony Nassar, and we'll, it, we'll do his business right here. So it's TNY, TNY contracting from your roof down to your basement and everything in between. <laughs> That's what I'm reading. TNY contracting has it covered for you. 
Call Tony, which is sitting next to us, or his partner, Nick, today for a free estimate and professional consultation on your next home project addition or even a new build. There Maybe you, you need a shed to live in. We do custom sheds. There you go. So, Tony. Yes. Why TNY? So, the TN stands for Tony Nassar, and the NY is for Nicholas Youssef. So, it's a double entendre. Oh, uh, okay. Wow. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. Very good. So the end serves a double purpose. And when did yeah. you guys start this business? Uh, officially three years ago, um, but we've been working together for a couple years before that, and we just decided to partner up and make things happen. Working for somebody else or? No, no, no. I was on my own. He was on his own. We'd always run into each other. We decided help. to merge. Yeah. We yeah. decided, hey, you're always helping me out. I'm helping you out. Why not get together? Like join forces and take over the Lehigh Valley. Yeah, I wish I could say that about Oliver, but. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what. That's that. what made you go into <laughs> Like it. that one, Jay? No, I know. <laughs> um, <laughs> you graduated my same year. Yeah. We graduated 07 from, did you go, where did you go to college? I, 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 went, I went to Boston. To, I went to Kutztown. You went to Kutztown. Yeah. So then after Kutztown, graduated 11, that's when we graduated. Yeah. So then we finished. What did you get into? At first, I was all over the map. All over the map. I, I started at ADP selling payroll. Did That's it for everybody. Yeah, yeah. Did it for yeah, six yeah, months. Everybody starts there. You did two all of them? No, you work for Westgate. 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 That was horrible. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't take it. It was actually roadway trucking before that. <laughs> you, that's where you worked? And I just, I, I needed to work with my hands. I couldn't, I couldn't I stay in the office. I couldn't do it. I needed to get... Get down dirty. Did you have construction experience though from your past though? Uh, yeah. I mean, you just don't fall yeah. into this. No, right? it was all yeah. I've I've had a past, and so then I went to uh, Whitehall Door, started doing garage doors, and a uh, great family by the way. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. great family. Uh, Patochny, to- right? Yeah, Patoch- Jimmy Patochny, and yeah, we played football with well, him. He played football with him. Well, time out. Patochny's a great family, but this is the Hubers, so it's a different family. Oh, it's they, not. They own overhead door. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. Well, then say, shout, shout out to, out to the both Ubers, of both of them. Two yeah. good families. Yeah, yeah. So then about uh, five or six years ago, I decided, uh, you know what? I need more money, so. Yeah, you, you just go. go hustle. Decided to go on my own. and, and So after COVID or before? Uh, before COVID, yeah. Oh, wow. So during COVID, so you, you go into a new business. Yeah. Also in COVID hits. Who the fuck's bringing you in your house? Well, a couple things. I, I, I mean, you, you probably got to wear a fucking full suit, you know, like you're going to deal with some yeah, fucking no, bees or no, something. No, 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 no. I'm more on your side. I no, I understand, but I mean, you got to be like the clientele. Who's hiring you at that time? Real Americans. All right. Yeah, real Americans yeah, that sir. that weren't afraid of uh, some hoax. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, we all agree with you there. I agree with you fucking <laughs> so, there. So That's yeah, cool, though. You said real Americans. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Patriots. I mean, Pages. Yeah. Now, how so, far do you, uh, are you predominantly in the Lehigh Valley, or do you venture off to, like, the Poconos, New Jersey? What are you? We're all over the place. We, oh, you are? Yeah, yeah. We've been to uh, Stroudsburg, Poconos. Uh, we're doing one in Lehigh now. Oh, wow. A um, lot here, in, you know, right here in the valley. Good for you. Um, we've been as far out as. Well, you five, did my five. fence. Yeah, we did yeah. Uncle Joe's fence. Did, they did my fence around yeah. my pool and yeah. stuff. So, you know, he did that. And, uh, I mean, yeah, I, I, I got to say, it was yeah. very seamless and easy for me. Well, I always say, if the money's there, we're there. So. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. You're nothing wrong. It. Listen, it, you, you got you can't be afraid to say it. There's no rehab money. for money, bro. You know, I want to make money. Yeah. It's, you know, no. in, in our society, it seems like you know, uh, at our level, unless you're like a uh, Amazon or somebody like that, they're they're okay to be announced being rich. Yeah. But God forbid you're a hardworking person, breaking your ass, callousing your body every day. You know, doing what you do, and you say, "I'm in this to make money." Yeah. That's a yeah. fucking problem? No, not at all. Why it, would you own it? it? Why, why do we take the shit we take and not want to make money? It's that's what it's make about. fucking money. Well, that's why. I and it, uh, in my industry, it's like, it's fucking crazy. It's like, ugh, it drives yeah. me nuts. You know, it, guys, let's make money. That's, uh, that's right. If, if you saw last episode, just the 50 cents rule, pizza should be at 24 fucking dollars. Yeah. yeah. Just doing 40 years of 50 cents incre- increase, which isn't being a fucking pig. It's yeah. being generous. You know, so I well, I mean, 100%. he just told me something in the construction company business, and that that I didn't even think about. He goes, "You know what kills him sometimes? Not kills him, but is a little bit of frustrating." He said those free estimates. You know, so then the free estimates, yep. you're losing ten hours a week, giving ten free estimates hours a week, and to him to think that way, that means you know he's in it to make money. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, He's I mean, losing 10 hours giving 10 free estimates. We, we I'll get, give you a free estimate conversation. My wife, Gigi, who's sitting over there. Hello, Gigi. 
So we're in the car driving like two Mondays ago, was it, I think? And all of a sudden the phone rings. I'm like, who the fuck is this? I answer the phone. They call up. Now, we've had hail here. But I guess I got a 50-year roof, you know, when I built a house. So the last guy that tested it, he went over it with a drone. I said, your roof is good. These people came out to said something. We had a bad storm. So I was like, all right. It's a free estimate, free test. You tell me if the roof is bad or good. Go ahead. They don't have to go in my house. I don't want nobody in my house. If I don't fucking know you, you don't fucking come in my house. You come, that's it. This is how fucking it works. So we get the call. We set the appointment up for Tuesday, 9 a.m. I left already for the pizza shop. All of a sudden she calls me. I was like, Joe, he says he needs to go inside and go to the attic. He says, give me the phone. I was like, listen, you ain't going to my fucking house. The job is outside the house. Yeah. What the fuck you going in my house? I said, no. Nobody goes in my fucking house I don't know, and I'm not fucking there. She says, what well, calm down. You guys said you're going to do an, a test from outside. So next thing, goes back and forth. We can't do it. We got to go in. They're calling from there. Got to go in. Next thing, his managers call me and say, listen, what do you fucking don't understand? If I got to leave my pizza shop and come home right now to straighten this shit out, fucking shit's going to fucking hit the fan. I'm telling you right the fuck now. All right, I'm busy. I don't have fucking time for this. You're not in the house. So get the fuck off my block. I'll call the fucking cops right now or I'm going to send some fucking people over there because I've had a fucking enough of this fucking shit today. But you got to go in my house to check my roof. Yeah. So this is the bullshit when you say free estimates and all that bullshit. Nothing's fucking for free. Well, you know, so we provide the free estimates. Yeah, but you're not doing. You need to check a roof to go inside my act. No, no. What if, are you doing? You're coming in from you're somewhere. For you want to? Yeah, you're you're looking outside. You're looking outside. What are you yeah. coming in to fucking uh, check me out of? Get hit the fucking road. You hit the wrong fucking house, buddy, over here. Yeah. yeah. You know, fucking bullshit. So, yeah. Hey, let's ask. You, you're traveling around a lot. What pizza shops <laughs> do you stop at for lunch? <sighs> you gotta have your favorites. The camera can see I'm a big yeah, guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got my childhood favorites. Uh, we were just talking to uh, Pies on Pizzeria. On oh, uh, Caddy. And Caddy, yeah. 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 I, I grew John's up good family, good guy. Yep. Uh, I like Charlie's in, in Fullerton. Oh, yeah, another uh, good family. Yeah, yep. yeah. Uh, I stopped by Biagio's for slices. I hit up Caddy Corner for slices. I'm a slice kind of guy because I'm always on the go. Yeah, fast. So, yeah. Uh, fast. I was telling Sal last week, yeah. Cherryville Pizza. Uh, I don't know his name, but shout out to him. Felix. Yeah, was that the old Felix. Pizza Como? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that okay. So he just opened up, and he's two minutes from my house, and real good slices, real, nice guy, real, real good service. Yeah, real good. He remembers your name. He's they're quick, they're efficient, they're real, they're real good over there. Quick eat, you can go yeah. in, get what you want, and get yep. the hell out. Yep, 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 yep. You know, it's it's surprising. You know, a lot of operators don't realize the importance of that. Yeah, yeah. For you guys know. like me, you're on the road, you're on the go. People yeah, want to like come in, people, they want to get something fast. Customers don't like when I see South Whitehall guys or construction guys. Yeah. Because they got to get in and they out. They got to get like, in what and out. What do you wait? Especially Just, if you don't work for your... I, I could take a two-hour lunch if I wanted. But, but a lot of, have, these, a lot of the time. guys, they're on the clock. They got a half an hour lunch. Right. They can't sit there and wait 15, 20 minutes to heat up a pizza. They're doing all that construction by Biagio's. Yeah. Those new houses. Yeah. They ordered eight pizzas today. I gave the guy three menus when he came in. I said, here, every day you guys are here, order. We'll give you 10% off and whatever you need. He's like, yeah. okay, here. I said, there yeah. you go. But if they're going to be there for the next fucking year... Yeah. Well, and that's I a twenty-five year project. They said. Okay. Is that what it is? So twenty-five. I, I may not be alive by the time that project's done. Whatever it is, those it's ha- twenty-five well, years. No, the, they're building the houses. Those yeah. guys. Yeah, what yeah, the yeah. fuck are they building over there? Oh that thing's my the god! Whole freaking Town mountain. Homes. It's Town going homes. up over the top. Townhomes, condominiums, a mall. Sun, there's a mall. There's a strip mall. St. Luke's Single homes. Uh, St. They're going past Parkland? retirement community. No, not past Parkland. Right before uh, the 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 science lab place. Well, yeah. up over the mountain, oh, oh, okay. to the other side. Tech. I mean, it's a shitload of land. Yeah, I mean, yeah, geo, the geo, uh, whatever that place is, right before that. But I, it's the it's just crazy. Yeah, geo, yes, twenty five yeah. years. That's yeah. Well, what I'm saying is, I, those years, guys come in, yeah, and I'm giving that. I know these guys are going to be there every day. Why not order Biagio's every fucking day? Yeah, 100%. I got more than pizza. I got to do cheesesteaks, salads, whatever yeah, the fuck yeah, you want. Yeah, exactly. You but know yeah. what I mean. We and got, that in your industry, that's what they're looking for. They're looking for speed, hundred percent. What do you give your guys a lunch break? I, I don't monitor it. I just, <coughs> I, as long as they're fair and reasonable, I'm fair and reasonable. I don't, I don't bust anyone's balls. I don't put a time on them. Yeah, just no. Don't take I'm a two-hour sure. lunch, but if you want to take a half an hour, forty-five minute lunch, if you're reasonable, obviously I'm reasonable. you can judge by the work getting done. Yeah, 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 yeah. So every, we, every we day, should only be here so many days. Yeah, so every day I give them a list. 
five, six, seven things they need to accomplish. They get done six hours, they get paid. They get done ten hours, they get paid. How's your issue with staffing? Uh, no problems, no problems. So you're finding enough guys in the trades and stuff? Yeah, yeah. I got two guys full time, and they're real good, and they're they're show up on time, and they bust their balls. And then I got a bunch of good subs that are reliable and trustworthy, and real, so you real can set them guys. up. So you, yeah. you got a good team of players, I'm out. Yeah, they've all been with me for four, five, six years. Good, so, good. So Everybody well, trying to get ahead. Everyone try, like just like Antoine that you met on your fence job. Oh, good guy, great family. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Great family. How's he doing? He's doing great. He lost he lost like 150 oh, yeah, pounds. Good. I did see him. Yeah. He came by the shop. He looks good. Yeah, he he's look doing good. good. So, so yeah. You know, hats off to him. That's hats my off. thing, though, with the guys is I take care of them. So, whenever I call, they, they come right away. Right. Nick, same thing. Nick calls his guys. Boom. They're there right away. Oh, so you have a team of guys between the two of you. Yeah, he's got his guys and I got my guys. But, you know, we intermingle. You can rely on both of them. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, well, you're well, only that's, growing. That's, yeah, that's, that's a good, good for you, man. But our that's whole awesome. thing is, you got to take care of them, or they're going to go elsewhere. So yeah, it's like any business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, exactly. you, your core staff, you're always going to take care of. Yeah, you know, you, you're definitely, you, and you're going to get what you pay for. That's right. At the end of the day, you're going to get what you pay for. I mean, that's just what, how it works. Well, Tony, hey, we're going to say just thank you for being on. Thank you for sponsoring. Thank us. you for oh, sponsoring. Yeah, yeah. Us. We appreciate really do appreciate. It. It. I got to give you this. Because now that you're certified, Pete's Fellas Podcast certified, right. get the shirt right there. Go ahead, pass that down. Well, I want right. to thank you guys for the opportunity to have us on. Yeah, definitely. Oh, happy to do it. Again, it's TNY go. Contracting yep. from your roof down to your basement and everything in between. Yep. TNY Contracting has covered for you. you so get a commercial. Call Tony or Nick today for a free estimate right here. Tony, 484-695-5240. That's right. Basements, kitchens, bathrooms, additions, detached garages. You do concrete work, all that shit? Anything. Decks, Good. concrete work, shutters, gutters, downspouts, whatever you need. There you go. Gutters right there, Justin. Give us a call. Well, I just uh, got one crazy thing to ask. Fucking, on this fucking plants right now. were growing out of Justin's fucking home. Does, does anybody here in the room I looked know? up. Plants were growing Shut out. Shut up! Was there wow. any looting in Philly again tonight? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, did you guys, real quick. Did you gonna, fucking see that shit? I mean, who the fuck wants to go that you see that fucking town? bitch who was video crewing six felonies? Unfucking real. Was there any looting? The best place? part was be three days in a they row? were looting a fucking liquor store, a state liquor store in Philadelphia. So not only don't they have enough <laughs> money, they're looting and riding over someone or something they have no idea about. And third, a liquor store. So they're going with nobody to get fucking shit faced to then wake up the next morning with no money and realize they you can't just, go rob another liquor you store. You just pissed off a fucking town. Yeah, but I mean, are you town. If I was the Philadelphia police, I would have everyone fucking arrested. I'd be, right now, I'd I would be have, embarrassed though. To I would have to it go fucking, on. You know what's embarrassing? You take are you it down nuts? so fucking hard, it's unreal. You know what's embarrassing? That fucking retard. That's in fucking Washington. Uh, Featherman. Fever, f- f- Lurch. Featherman. Lurch. Featherman. Lurch. Oh, Lurch. my God. That's they gave up. him the okay to wear a fucking ho- hoodie and hoodie. fucking shorts? There's no fucking dress code for the Senate. I got to ask, what's going on in Philly? I, I'm, not, I'm not aware. So Philly's there's riots because a police officer got... Uh, he got and they're proven trying to not say guilty. They're not. They're, okay. Oh, it's it's coincidental. Separate people. It's, it's, it's separate all. Separate people. It's, not, it's yeah. all the same shit they tried doing years ago during COVID, yeah. and now they're trying to bring it back. But yeah. they're lo- what I said. What they were looting. It's just nonsense. They looted everybody. But to Mom go back real shops. quick to that Fetterman shit, they changed the fucking dress code. That's a, uh, the well, dress that's code. Disgusting. You know that. It's, it that's absolutely uh, so. We're it's fucking disgusting. so basically, it's coming out of our fucking money yes. for this fucking clown to look like a clown. This clown yeah. to look like a clown. Hey, yeah. If you're a clown, you're for just a like clown. clown. We have a, clowns. We got a totem pole clowns. representing Pennsylvania. He's a fucking totem pole. That's it. That, it's, it's plain and simple. You, oh, you, they pushed it back. Oh, now they revoted. Okay, well. Oh, too good. But they even even to entertain. Gus, would you see that on the Syrian news? <laughs> Probably, bro. We're fucking. How are you going to make a suit for Fetterman? What are you going to... Who, 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 it's not even time? the point. It's not it's even it. the point. The no, point it's, is, it's be dress appropriate. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. How about, how about this? How about uh, Target and stuff shutting down stores? Come over here, come over here, come stores. Over here. 27 stores Target shut Let down. Let him fucking talk. Hey, easy over there. <laughs> 
How about uh, Target and uh, them shutting down stores because of all the uh, the looting and the stealing and stuff going on? Oh yeah, that's oh, right. That's, that's multiple that's what, stores that's what's leaving. Sad. Yeah. You, you oh, definitely. Walmart's pulling out. Pulling out. They're pulling yeah. out. Absolutely. So you you all bought into this shit, and now when you're not making money and you can't freaking defend yourself, oh, we're just gonna pull the fuck out. Like, don't you wish you had that endless bank account? Well, the part that sucks you know? is that they're shutting down or they're closing early. Those employees are not getting paid that week. No, exactly. It's right. And nobody cares about that. Every you know? liquor no. store, I feel like 27 of them shut down yesterday. Yeah. And what about those 10, 15 employees per store? Is it permanent? They're no, out. just for a couple days. Still, like, whatever it is. But still. Well, now we're waiting. And think about that. If, that you're, if you're living paycheck to paycheck, four days. No, you're work. right. You're 100% right. But think about it this way. That's not a fucking, when I went to school in Mass, you own a liquor store, you own Jersey, you own a liquor store. It's yeah. your fucking business. Yeah. In Pennsylvania, that's the state. Closing liquor stores. What did, what did you say? 27, 24? 27, 24, 27. Whatever the fuck it is. The state is saying, okay, let them do this. Yeah, they're we'll condoning give them, it. We'll give them they're, three they're, days. They, who condones we'll give, stupid? What are you talking about? There you should be I mean? a fucking armed army, armed guard, yeah. coast, whatever the Put fuck the it national, is. Right in front of every do, state store. Clean them up. It's come not touch tolerated. the fucking liquor and they, you're going to get fucking shot. wiped out the sneaker store. Honestly. Right there too. That's yeah, a shame. You got the people who are paying the taxes in these That's areas a shame. to support the area are the ones who are being most mistreated because you're allowing this bullshit to occur. Yeah, but how does a small... And nobody's knocking it down well, to say, God, next the, time, the, don't fucking do it. They got a new police commissioner. Though. That last one didn't do shit. It doesn't matter. Why? Right. Does one do any better? No, he's actually charging dude. them with... What does it matter? Yeah, they're, they're charged. Like you you can charge all you want. They'll be putting jail and out. They're done. Did they get a new DA? If, as long as they it's didn't not, get the DA, all goes he's going to the judges. decide They're what he's going to charge. So. Philadelphia's been a fucking shit show for 60 years, yeah. 70 years. Ridiculous. Shit show. And for people to even fucking say, oh, I'm going to Philly. When kids tell me they're going to Temple, how the fuck are you going to oh go to Temple? God. Oh, God. Ugh. And you have a son who yeah, goes to Temple. Yeah. You're there all the time. Yo. It's fucking crazy. You know, you know what I mean? It's just. <laughs> well, I'm not going to get into that. What is but... it? The, the, the second largest police force in the state or something or third? I mean, are you kidding me? It's big. And then with the small businesses, you got a small business guy in these c- cities protecting himself with a gun, getting in trouble. Yeah. And then... You're defending you have, what, you, what pays for your family, and you're in trouble and for it. And you're in trouble for Think it. Think about that. It's just... It, may, it makes no fucking sense. No, not at all. It makes no... It's, it's delirium. It's delirium. It is delirium. Yeah. It, it is. Yeah. It's, it's, at a, it's at a state where, you know, what, what was one, once right is now wrong. What's wrong is right. You got to watch your back. Every you walk, you don't look left. You got to go look right, upside down. In the well, sky. they have you gotta... they have down that that, <coughs> that way. Today, I was talking with my girl from uh, the one distributor I, that I deal with. And we were talking about all this, and she was saying that, you know, they have an incident down that way towards Philly, where I guess when people are leaving a bank or they're leaving a grocery store, groups are following them home and then jumping them at their house. And I didn't hear about this. I don't know if it's true, but she seemed pretty like amid about it, you know. And I was just like, wow, I've got to look into that, but. I'm just curious to see if tonight there was a third night, but the other story that she was saying, she just seemed very, uh, you know, it's like, this is happening. You got to be yeah. here. And then, you know what she said to me? goes, a certain time at night, she doesn't go out. So I was like, wow, so yeah. you won't leave your house now at a certain time at night like you used to because of what society She lives is. near Philadelphia, it, Joe? Is that what it is? Yeah, like Ben Salem. Down uh, there. Well, Even oh, South yeah, I mean, Philly, but people are closing here, before dark. still, it's... They got to close before dark now. They're scared. Yeah. Well, Montgomery. Open. I should say I'm Montgomery. I'm Montgomery. Yeah, Montgomery area over there. I, I, listen, I always say it's all right to carry, so everyone should go out and get their license. Yeah. <laughs> carry, carry, protect yourself, protect your families. I'm a, yeah. I'm a big two-way advocate. Yeah. yeah. You, gotta you gotta take, have to you be. Gotta take care I mean, we were talking the other day. Uh, on Sunday, we were talking. He, I said, he said, is it, is it gay if I uh, wear a fanny pack? Who? <laughs> Tony. I said, no, wear a fucking fanny pack. It's, it's the I only, thing now. I only want one so I can carry two guns on me now. Yeah. One on my waist. That's yeah. what he was talking about. One he goes, then I'm going to carry one in there, one in the fanny pack. I said, you put everything in the fanny I pack. I have a message bag, that like a messenger bag. Yeah. I, hey, somebody, yeah. I fucking love owners, they start throwing Easiest some lead into these people. Shit will stop. Yeah, I mean, it's just... Even well, that's what fact, needs to happen. We yeah. need to stand up. But, and, but and, the, the problem is, is they're making standing up for just your simple... And then they get in trouble. It, you're in trouble. Just for saying, hey, stop. You can't touch this. No, no, you can't stop them. Uh, you, the defense was, get out of here, and now you're in trouble as the owner of the property yeah. or the owner of the business. Yeah. It's you, just you can ridiculous. shoot somebody if they come to your house, but you can't shoot them if they're robbing your business. Which it's is the same bullshit. shit with, like, if, we, if you really think about it, like, did you guys hear about that BlackRock? You know, BlackRock and Vanguard, you know, they're the top companies, yeah, top yeah. families, whatever, in the country, in the world. <clears throat> they're buying up all the land. And where? Housing. 
yeah, they're buying up housing, housing and so stuff like that. I've, they're buying up housing everywhere. Okay. And I asked, I asked my, my buddy, Jose Colazzo lives in Kansas city. He's a regional district manager for, I believe it is John Hancock. I want to say it is. I think mm. so. I think that yeah, I or think so. something with bank of America, something like that. But he, he was telling me his house in Arizona when he moves to Kansas city was bought by BlackRock. Really? And they bought his whole development in Arizona. So BlackRock is on this thing where they're buying land and buying, they're trying to take up all the land from everybody. It's the same shit going on in Hawaii. Where With fucking Oprah, over. that fucking yeah. bitch where yes. she is right now. Well, yeah. how about James O'Keefe? He did that, uh, he, he did that undercover. Uh, What's the motive? Who What's the, the motive? Else? So that they own everything and that we don't own anything. And then we, have and then we turn into a society. Yes. Yeah. So now they own everything. And when you think you own your house, you do not own your house. Yeah. You might own your house. You do not own that land. <coughs> so even though you think you have the deed and all that other stuff, they own everything. Yeah. yeah. So then, then that control you. It takes you into a communist society where then now they own everything and you have no rights or anything like that. Yeah. But well, that's some that's of the stupid them. shit of the day. You know, that's in our perception. So, I mean, we're living in a diverse world of uh, Ringling. The reason why I feel they shut down Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus is because it became the fucking United States. So that's the bottom line on that. Well, there you go. Outside of that, I mean, this is the, what, third podcast? No, third, eight. Oh, and third section of the podcast. Third yeah, segment exactly. of episode yeah. eight. He's had a few shots. Uh, yeah, we have, shots, yeah. let's... Giovanni's Pizza, John from Giovanni's Pizza. Thank Come you for over. coming on. Get Come on, on over, Come John. On over. Come on over. Come on over, John. He Justin wanted here. me to do a shout out. We we met Glenny Balls down at the pizza show. Who the Glenny, fuck did you meet? Glenny <laughs> Balls. Glenny <laughs> Balls. Yo, he fucking met He's the right hand man of Portnoy. Was that That's a, not his fucking, fucking name? It's Glenny Balls. Yeah, it's it's right here balls. on his Instagram. No, it is Glenny Balls. That's his name. Fucking Glenny Balls. They we met, met him in the VIP Why am I bathroom? hearing this for the first fucking time Jimmy, in over a week? It's the first person we met at the pizza show. Glenny Balls. Well, hey, listen, shout out to you Glenny Balls. We got to finish up with a shot here. That was a good combo. <laughs> Everyone take one. And for the next episode, when we do come, when we do film again, we're going to talk about the Pizza Expo uh, in an AC when we come back. All right. Everyone got a shot? We got shots here? Um, yeah. I need a shot. I'll, I'll take a shot. What is this for? Yeah, Give him a shot. A All right. We're taking shots of uh, Siete Lagues. I, have, I don't know. Siete Fucking Justin Siete talking Lagues. into it. Uh, this yeah, weekend's going to be yeah. fun. Uh, it is good. It is good. No, everything is good with Justin. Thank you. This weekend is going to be fun. Listen, we could have opened up a liquor store. <laughs> With all, the, the, with all the looted liquor. <laughs> with all the looted liquor. I literally thought that you freaking dropped the whole beer. The away. problem Any is. liquor sponsors, we're looking for you. And it, the problem is, if all five of us ran into a liquor store and looted it, we'd get arrested. Salute. Think about it. Salute. <laughs> salute. Uh, salute. Cheers to the Pizza Fellows. Uh, Pizza Fellows podcast, folks. Follow us, Spotify, YouTube, Linktree, X, formerly known as Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TNY Contracting, Tony Nassar, good friend of mine, cousin of mine. Go follow him if you need any work done. Just give him a call. Again, his number was... Go ahead, Tony. Shout it out since you know it. 484-695-5240. There you go. Thank you for being on. And Giovanni Giovanni. Giovanni's Pizza. That fucking tavern pizza was fucking out of this world. Elias Market. We got Elias Market here. Elias Market. Azar Market. You know, we We got got the whole crew here. Jay Cimarron, Caddy Corner. We got Sal Catania, Delicioso Pizza. And we got Enter.net, Juice Crew. We are out, guys. Episode 8. Thank you. And we'll have more to come on the next couple episodes. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. It's a Pizza Fellas podcast. Turn your speakers up. We better have a blast. Grab a drink. Fill a glass. Light a cigar. Come on, let's make it last. Pizza Talk with Sal and Joe, Oliver, Antonio, Pizza Stories, they gon' tell us, let's have some fun with the Pizza Fellas.